Hey guys, Dr. Ben here. Welcome to a power pack brokerpreneur bite. Get ready to dive into proven strategies of recruiting top talent, retaining your best agents, and skyrocketing sales in the next 10 minutes. I'm your host, of course, Dr. Ben Spears, along with our real estate guru, Matt Vai. Join us as we unravel the secrets to take your brokerage to new heights. Let's dive in. So, so we know that there are, uh, there, there are top, top offices in franchises Mm -hmm. and their offices in within franchises that, (laughs) excuse me, struggle, right? Like from a recruiting standpoint or any standpoint, there are also top offices that are independents and they just kill it. Right. But then there's. Independence, independence that, struggle. that struggle, right? So mm-hmm. it, it one thing doesn't make it, you know, the other. Right. I want to I want to talk, you know, specifically franchise, you know, in that direction right now. What what is it that makes a a, a top office within a franchise special? And is it that it's just the franchise because we know like there are independents out there that right. just kill it. Right. Like what is what's the what's that thing that, you know, makes them special? Yeah. So, uh, no, it's not the franchise. Uh, so, and it's not being an independent. Correct. Top independents, top franchises, top teams, top agents, uh, top team leaders all have systems. Okay. Period. Makes sense. Okay. So if we were going to say, here's the fence, which side of the fence do you fall on? Yeah. And this is the fence called success. Which side do you fall on? If you have systemization in place, you're going to fall on the success side of that fence. And is that systemization with everything or Uh, are you talking specifically recruiting? And it's just like, uh, are you talking about, you know, through your contracts and your training? Is it, is it top to bottom? Like this is the button you push to get water. Should you have a water fountain? All right. So let's, let's define success. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got to do that first. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So success means that if you, if you are a broker owner, Okay. Okay. Or, or a broker owner group or a team that has the brokerage or whatever. If you pull your production out of that, you and your team and whoever is no longer producing, are you still profitable? Okay. Okay. So if you do that, then, uh, then you're probably relatively a successful, a successful company. All okay? right. Oh, uh, if you can't pull your production out of that, it's not that you are achieving a certain level of success but you're achieving the level of success as a broker who owns a company, right? Not as a company run by a broker. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Like a brokerpreneur. A brokerpreneur. That's exactly right. right. So there's a big difference between that. There's a big difference between the two. Okay. So, so to get back to your, to get back to your question, okay. if you can pull yourself out of that and you have systems that allow, uh, I'm not going to say in perpetuity, okay? okay, but but that allow uh, a, a perpetual productivity, right? Yeah. That keeps going, right? So if you if you have that, then you have systems in place, and that's probably a pretty successful office. Okay? And that and you're saying that without even like adding other agents, without even adding other agents, okay. correct? Yeah, yeah. You can't count something you don't have. Right? Oh, oh, for sure. I just want to make sure, like, yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. Oh, so, so if you, if you have a system that allows you to take your production out of it and for, and for the profitability to continue at, right. a, at a very nice pace, then you probably have systems in place that you need. The reason why I say that your question was, is it just a recruiting system? Is it just a training system? Is it just whatever with, without a balance of systems in the office, right? And we've talked about this in, in other, in other podcasts, right? And we can argue with the audience if we wanted to about this. It's, it's about sales and it's about marketing and it is about compliance and it is about legal. That's right. really what, that's really what the, the company breaks down into, right? Finance yep. and legal, right? So there's, there's four parts. Let me say it again. Cause I know I said that quick. So, so, okay. Company breaks down into four parts. Any company. Number one. Sales. Number two, marketing. Number three, finance. Number five, easy. (laughs) Number four, legal and compliance. (laughs) Okay. Okay. That's every company has those pieces to it. Yeah. Okay. And so that, that comes from uh, Harvard business review that comes. Yeah. That's all over. That's that's business books. Like one oh one. That's right. And not in that order, right? There's a whole bunch of different. Okay. Yep. But those are the four key components. All of those have to have systems. Okay. Okay. So if you have systems in all four of those compartments and you can take your production out of that, 
or your team's production or however you want to put it. Don't get tricky with me out there. Don't go, oh, well, you know, I'm the broker. My wife sells, but, you know, and she yeah, gets like, the leads. Take the, me out of it. Right. Still I'm, profitable. I'm, I barely make anything, but she's my, my only agent. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's not what it, that, right. Yeah. That doesn't count. Right. Yeah. You got to take that, that ownership out of that. Okay. So yeah. take the ownership out of that. And if what is left is still profitable and has systems in those four, four parts. What if someone has a team, right? And it's part of their brokerage. So like, let's, let's say, you know, I'm, I'm an agent, you know, mm-hmm. I've got a team it's working for me. And then, uh, the next day I, I'm like, I started my brokerage, right? You know, I can I can leave and go on vacation. Does that mean I have a, a successful so, brokerage? Uh, so, how good of a team leader were you? Right. So, if you were if you were a great team leader and you can leave and and go on uh, go on vacation, and your team operates the way that it needs to without you, you're you had a brokerage already, right? Okay. Because they didn't they didn't need you. But if if you get plucked out of there and you're gone for a six month hiatus, yeah. and everything falls apart and everybody's yelling and screaming and production falls, yeah, you falls come back and, and they're wearing loincloths and right. hiding in the corner with spears. <laughs> right. Yeah. Then then that's a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so uh, so so absolutely, it has to be you pulling your production out of out of that. Okay. Right? Okay. So if you can pull your production out of that, you're still profitable, and you have systems in those four quadrants you're probably running a successful business. So what does that have to do with independent and franchises? Yeah. Well, great independents have those things, right? right? Great, great franchises have those things. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, I know. (laughs) But, (laughs) but both of them don't necessarily use just a specific tool, meaning that a great franchise might for, uh, for their sales system. I'll I'll give you, I'll give you a super example here. So, uh, a, a, a great franchise brokerage might have said, you know what? We really want to adapt the ninja way of selling. Okay. Okay. So the nin- ninja selling system, Larry Kendall, all that, all that kind of stuff. Maybe they say that that's really from a sales standpoint, that's what we're going to lean into. That's our system. That doesn't mean every person in that brokerage follows that. Right. It means that that brokerage, that is the systemization of how they get people productive. And that's right. how they help maintain. And that's what they support to keep people productive. That's their sales systemization. Yeah. Follow me? Yeah, absolutely. That doesn't, you don't have to be a franchise. You can be an independent to, to work with Larry Kendall and, and those guys at Ninja Selling, right? So so all of that is geared towards, uh, towards you know, the rest of everything else that that, that, that company uses might be you know, you know, some other franchise, right? They right. might use the CRM given by another franchise. They might use all this other, but the actual selling system, okay, is that other piece. So when I just said the CRM, that means they're for the, their compliance arm of what they're doing and some of the sales arm of what they're doing, their systemization, it comes from the franchise. You follow right. me? Right. So as, as long as you have that systemization in, in, those, in those different categories, like sales, that's where your training falls under, right? Right. And so marketing falls under your, your marketing, right? And so some of what you do with the CRM is going to fall under that if you're providing things for it. So all of those things are just systemized to be able to use a certain way. 